How you doing? I'm Big D. Welcome to my show, String Them Up with Big D. So I'm going to talk about one of my favorite guitarists, Eddie Van Halen. But while I'm talking about Eddie, I'm going to bring up Wolfgang. Well, most of this is going to be about Wolfgang. Before we get to the show, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all. I'm going to try to upload at least one show a week, if not more. There's a lot to be talked about. A lot of people don't know a lot of uh, backgrounds in some of these artists. And I figured, hey, maybe I'm the person to talk about it. I'm pushing 60 years old. And I have a lot of experience and also a lot of help with this show. Mainly it's a one-man show, but I have people giving me some links and stuff. And there is some stuff that I've come across that I did not know. So, I thought maybe you might not know. So, let's start with this. Wolfgang Van Halen hits back at fans over using VH initials. He says, last I checked, it was my fucking name. That is 100% true. So, why can't he use his own name? No matter what artist you're talking about, if you're if a, if you're a kid of a name brand guitarist or actor, or whatever it is, you're going to get a lot of flack from people. Wolfgang is definitely he's getting his share. Let me tell you, he once again found himself victim to the wrath of disgruntled Van Halen fans. As he battled it out line, online over his right to not include his father's songs within his live sets. The musician previously shut down a fan over the request earlier this year when a fan is in question, suggests Wolfgang would be honoring his father, Eddie Van Halen, if he succumbed to the wishes of the fans that he play. The band song on stage, many many of his songs on stage. He says, "I honor my dad by existing and doing what I do every day. I'm not fucking playing Panama for you guys." Revealing that he is a fucking exhausted, and by the backlash that some of these fans give him, the latest online fiasco began when one fan tweeted. Why, after all, you resist against Van Halen's fans, did you decide to add WVH to your band name? Honest question. So, the very first statement is how he returned the favor. Following that tweet, Wolfgang further detailed his frustrations about being under constant scrutiny, writing... It's this dumb shit where people pull things out of context and boil shit down in dumb ways so that they can be made to me to be pissed off at me. Despite the constant exchanges, Wolfgang maintains that he holds no ill feelings to those who love the band. He writes, I've never had resistance against VH fans. All I've ever said is, you'll never hear VH at a mammoth show. I'll never replace my father in VH and continue the band. But y'all just keep finding new reasons to hate me daily. It's fucking exhausting. That same day, Wolfgang refuted the idea made by a fan who suggested he host a concert with former Van Halen singer David Lee Roth and, well, singers, David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar is a way of bringing closure to fans. I have no idea why you people think this is my problem to fix, he replied. If I have to come to terms with not having a dad, these people can come to terms with not seeing a band live again. I really don't understand why some fans can't just leave them alone. His dad was famous, yes. 
His dad was incredible. But so isn't Wolfgang. He's very, very similar when it comes to how his father was. His father could do. He started his father, Eddie Van Halen, started with the drums. His brother, Alex, was the guitar player. After a while, they decided, maybe we need to switch because... Alex, you're much better at drums than I am, and I'm much better than you are at the guitar. Makes sense. This kid is incredible. Plays bass. Plays guitar. Piano. Again, incredible. You can't take that from him. But... For whatever reason, certain fans can't let it go. Wolfgang honoring his father on one year anniversary of his death. Rock legend, obviously, Eddie Van Halen. It was an emotional tribute he posted on Instagram. Eddie <clears throat> Wolfgang, now 30. Opens up about the grief he's struggling with since his dad passed of cancer on October 6, 2020 at age 65. He says, uh, you fought so hard for so long, but you were still taken away. It's just so unfair. Wolfgang wrote alongside a photo with him playing bass as his proud father pats his head affectionately. I'm not okay. I don't think I'll ever be okay. There's so much I wish I could show you. So many things I wish I could share with you. I wish I could laugh with you again. I wish I could hug you again. I miss you so much it hurts. I'm trying to do my best here without you, but it's really fucking hard. I hope you're still proud. He concluded his post by telling the iconic guitarist, I love you with all my heart, Pop. Watch over me. Wolfgang Van Halen's mom, actor Valley, Valerie Bertinelli, who was married to Eddie Van Halen from 1981 until uh, 2007. <clears throat> so Wolfgang took over Van Halen uh, bassist duties for his father's iconic rock band Van Halen in 2006 when he was just a teen in August he opened up about missing his dad in a mournful post where he revealed that he'd been having dreams where Pop and I are just doing normal things. Once he'd become aware that he was dreaming, he said he'd stop whatever he was doing and, and hug him for as long as he could until he woke up. I can't believe he's not here anymore. He also in, <clears throat> intended to carry on his father's mus musical, musical legacy. I'm an extension of him, and I'm just happy to be here to spread the good word of who he was and how he should, should be remembered. He told people, I think he is like a Mozart of generation. I think as far removed as he, as we are from Mozart, and we still talk about him and who he is. That's what he's going to be. Wolfgang Van Halen shares a famous name, definitely. But his music is his own. 
he's learned a lot from his father. I remember, I think it was like 2001, 2002, Albany, New York, I believe it was. Went to a Van Halen concert. Eddie brings out his son. Very little at that time. And they played a couple of different little... Like, they, they matched up pretty well. They played a little bit. And it was, like, the best thing in my life. One of the best. As far as concerts go. And can you imagine that? Bringing your child out. I mean, you see every once in a while, you'll have a, a lead uh, to the band, a musician, maybe vocals, maybe they do both. And bring out someone off, out of the audience. That's, that's awesome to experience. But when a guitarist, someone like Eddie Van Halen, brings out his kid and they play on stage, that is... That's unheard of. The chance of that for Eddie. Uh, boy, I couldn't even imagine. I'm a, I'm a father myself and be able to do something like that. That is definitely amazing. The Master Plan. As Wolfgang Van Halen told his dad late in 2019, would please everyone. One last Van Halen tour. Eddie, the guitarist. Brother, Alex, the drummer. Would bring back both original singer David Lee Roth and his replacement Sammy Hagar. They would also recruit Michael Anthony, the bassist replaced by the teen, teenage Wolfgang in 20, or 2007. I think it was 2006, but this uh, link that was sent to me, I believe is wrong. I could be wrong myself. To top it off, the opening act would be none other than Wolfgang Van Halen. Fans would go crazy, getting to relive the iconic band's past with both The Unchained and Why Can't This Be Love. In addition, sharing a single stage and Wolfgang, who had been sitting on his debut solo uh, album, a driving hard pop album, on which he played every instrument, would finally get a proper career launch of his own. Looking back, Wolfgang wonders whether it was all just wishful thinking. In late 2017, doctors had diagnosed Eddie Van Halen with stage 4 lung cancer. Told him he might not make it through the year. But Eddie didn't listen. He flew to Germany for treatments and seemed to stabilize, which allowed him to drop by the studio as his son recorded his first album. Eventually, when the cancer spread to the guitarist's spine and brain, the trips to St. John's Hospital became more frequent. Then in spring of 2020, COVID hit, bringing what remained of normal life to halt. Touring like everything else shut down, and it was just a few months later on October 6th that Eddie, great Eddie Van Halen, died of cancer at 65. Wolfgang struggled with his father's death, death even as... He is about to release his debut, Mammoth, WVH, and spend the summer opening stadiums of for Guns N' Roses. It's an exciting time for Wolfie, as he is now known to family and friends. But he remains sad and more than a little angry, as he considered how the pandemic altered what should have been his dad's final encore. Without COVID-19, he, re he, he reasons. Maybe Pop flies to Germany for more radiation. Maybe in the summer of 2020, instead of standing outside the window of his father's house to say hello, and instead of sitting by a hospital bed as he slips away, 
they are on the road together one last time. The way we figure it, if I were to open for Van Halen, he would come out and play a solo for a song, Wolfgang says. That would have been the end of all dreams. I would forever loathe COVID and how it was handled. He adds in a, an unusual, sharp political rebuke because they stole the moment from me. On a Monday night in April, Wolfgang Van Halen is wearing his standard uniform, black hoodie, matching jeans. He sits behind a mixing board under a wall lined with guitars. This is, a 50, this is the 5150 studio. The Studio City headquarters for Van Halen for more than three decades, and now home base for Wolfgang. He clicks through his phone and shares demos of songs that landed on his first record. The Zangley Resolve emerged during the 2015 stop in Buffalo, horribly right in a hotel room in New York City behind, during the, that same tour. He also played an early version of Distance, a song released in November with a heart-wrenching video that rose to number one, stitching together home footage. The clip opens with Eddie, circa 1991, cradling a swath a wolfie and ends with him eating ice cream next to his grown-up only child in a darkened cinema. That 2017 screening of it would be one of their last carefree outings. Mammoth WVH would have come out three years ago. It was done, except that in late 2017, at the showing of it, Eddie wouldn't stop coughing. He went to the doctor soon after and received his dire diagnosis. That's when Wolfgang's career went on hold. Ed was encouraging him to put the record out, says Valerie Bertinelli, his mother, and Valerie Van Halen's wife from 1981 until their divorce in 2007. But he just shut down everything when Ed was got diagnosed. He said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here for my dad. Wolfgang Van Halen was about eight when his father put a stack of magazines on the kitchen table and, and had, his, had him hammer out something that would approximately snare drum hits. If you can do this in time, he told the boy, this is what playing drums is. He got a kit for his 10th birthday. He would sit at it playing along the Van Halen 1996 compilation album, Best of Volume 1. Blink 182's Anima of the State. He got a guitar somewhere around his 12th birthday. In the beginning, when Ed and I were still together and Wolfie showed an aptitude for music, Ed would be, Bertinelli said. That's all he ever wanted. He wanted somebody to play with. Music was always part of that event for Van Halen's family. Started on clarinet and saxophone in his native Netherlands. Eddie played drums and piano, winning competitions throughout his teens. He heard creamy art. He heard cream and Jimmy Page. Shifted his focus to guitar. Alex, the older brother, by two years, played drums. In the early 70s, they formed Mammoth, later renamed Van Halen. The Brothers Van Halen. How do you compete against the, bro the Brothers Van Halen? Says Matt Brock, who started the band, started the Eddie in the early 1980s as a guitar tech before rising to help co-manage EVH gear. The line of guitars designed by Van Halen. It's just not a fair fight. They're so gifted. 
and Wolfie is equally that gifted. But he is his own person. Which seems to bother some of Wolf, Wolf Han <laughs> Van Halen's fans. Wolf wrote a Twitter username, Foodie Academy, after the Van Halen Scion played Distance on Jimmy Kimmel Live in February. Don't know your music well. I've heard was a guitar solo that was one note, boring and uninspired. And in a tribute to the legendary dad, I know he taught you better than that. Wolfgang, who is not one to ignore his trollers, fired back. The solo for distance is all emotion, he responded. And at the emotional hype of the song, it's why Pop loved it. And then a follow that ends with a red heart emoji. So go fuck yourself. He shouldn't have to defend himself the way he does. He's an amazing musician. You need to back it down. Whoever gets on Wolfie. There's something absurd about questioning Van Halen's chops. It's like blasting LA Angels slugger Mike Trout for taking a walk instead of waving wildly at a 3-0 slider in the dirt. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. With some reluctance, I don't want to sound like an a-hole. Van Halen admits that he never really played bass until he started rehearsing for the 2007 tour. Michael Elvis Basket, who produced Mammoth WBH, remembers the first time they worked together in 2017. Mark Tremonti, the Creed guitarist, had recruited Van Halen, Wolfgang Van Halen, to play bass in his solo band. During some studio downtime, the producer watched as Wolfgang casually wandered over the drum kit and picked up the sticks. I'm like, holy crap, Basket says. Then the guy proceeds to pick up the guitar. Everybody, including Mark, was sitting there like, Oh my God, what do you not do? And then I heard this guy sing. Pitch perfect. On Mammoth, Wolfing Van Halen. Van Halen wasn't looking to flaunt his finger work. Sometimes, as in the, on distance... That means the solo built off a single furiously picked note at the 22nd fret. On Mammoth, the title track, a melodic three-note solo surges against a thick wall of sound that feels full and wide open, reminiscent of the 1980s U2. There's also the guitar work on the album opener. Mr. Ed, where he offers enough searing licks and figure tapping to power a 1979 Camaro. There were times I was like, dude, let's push the envelope a little bit. Show off, Basket said. And he was like, yeah, that's not what the song's about. Eddie heard everything on Mammoth, WBH. He would stop by at the studio and say hello during sessions. He and Bertinelli watched his son's band rehearse in 2018. And she remembers him turning to her to say, in his distinctive, distinctive growl, can you believe this kid? But one of Rock's greatest guitarists didn't play a note on his son's debut. And neither did anyone else. Wolfgang played every instrument and sang every vocal. He also wrote all the songs. This was by design. After years of working for, fam for the family business, he wants to establish his own voice. And if Mammoth Wolfgang Van Halen contains shades of, the, of his many, 
influences from ACDC, Foo Fighters, Jimmy Eat World. There is one band it doesn't sound like. Not at all. Van Halen. When I first started hearing it, the first thing I did was send little love notes saying, Hey, I'm so proud of you, says Sammy Hagar. Van Halen singer from 1986, 5150 through 1995, Balance. Some of the fans were giving him shit about it because they wanted it to sound like Van Halen. I told him, fuck these people. You have the right to be your own man, your own musician. Wolfgang has never been good about talking take, or taking compliments. I think he's had those musical skills and that talent for so long, he doesn't realize that. Dude, that's not normal. So it's Andrea Alsa, his girlfriend. The first thing I did when I heard the album is I texted him and said, you have no idea how this has moved me. That's what his mom said. How did her son say and respond? He didn't. She says he just like, oh, thanks, mom. Compliments go right through my ear, Van Halen says. There's something wrong with me, I guess. Insecurity runs in the family. If David Lee Roth was the sexy clown in leather chaps, Eddie was the silent musical superhero. With a little a lit cigarette in his headstock, he revolutionized the instrument with his creativity, dexterity, finger tapping techniques. Posing with his duct tape, Frankenstrat guitar, seemingly ever issue of Circus, Cream, and Rolling Stones. But backstage was diff different. Bertinelli recalls her husband crying, inconsolable, after receiving an award in the early 1980s and worrying how it would affect his relationship with Roth. She watched as he began drinking. Shrugged off in the days when a Jack Daniels bottle next to the Marshall stack was in standard to the rock star's costume as a mane, mane of the feather hair. Began to change his behavior. The shy artist grew temperamental. Perfectionists began to forget solos. There are clips all over the internet of Eddie Van Halen. Glassy eyed, rambling, at instrument conversations, backyard jams, the drinking eventually ruined his marriage. It is unclear how much of his career is kicked off, but his son had a front row seat to the worst of it. Thank you for uh, stopping in. I appreciate it. All I'm saying is, please back off Wolfgang Van Halen. He is amazing. You need to agree to it, and you or you just need to move on. God bless Eddie Van Halen. God bless Wolfgang. God bless all of his friends, friends and family. We're always gonna miss him. <laughs>